Hello students! Welcome to Math and Magic. For today's video, I will discuss the distance formula. To begin with, we see that a line segment on the coordinate plane contains two endpoints. The coordinates of these points can help us find the length of a line segment. Moreover, there are three distance formulas or formulae that we can use. The first is for determining the distance between two points. The second is for finding the shortest distance of a line from a point. And the third is for finding the shortest distance between parallel lines. Now the distance between any two points on a number line, horizontal or vertical, can be found by simply finding the length of the segment determined by these points. In the graph, the coordinates of points A and B are 1, 0, and 5, 0, respectively. Since the y values of the two points are the same, we will just get the absolute difference of the x values of the two coordinates. Absolute difference of 1 and 5 is 4. Thus, the distance of points A and B, or the length of line segment AB, is 4 units. Likewise, for the vertical line segment CD, where the coordinates of points C and D are 1, 3 and 1, negative 3 respectively, similar with horizontal line segment AB, here we will disregard x values since both values are the same. Getting the absolute difference of 3 and negative 3, that is equal to positive 6. Now talking about a line that is diagonal, here to determine the distance between two points, we will use the concepts about vertical distance, horizontal distance, and Pythagorean theorem. Here we will set D be the distance between the two points, whose coordinates are x sub 1, y sub 1, and x sub 2, y sub 2, forming a right triangle whose side lengths are the formulae for the horizontal and vertical distance, D will be equal to the square root of the square of quantity x sub 2 minus x sub 1 plus the square of quantity y sub 2 minus y sub 1. As an example, points R and S are on the Cartesian plane. If point R has coordinates of negative 2, positive 4 and point S has coordinates positive 1, negative 2, how far is point R from point S? For this item, we first need to set coordinates as sub 1 and sub 2. Here, the coordinates of point R will be for sub 1. Thus, x sub 1 is negative 2 and y sub 1 is positive 4. For the second point S, x sub 2 will be positive 1 and y sub 2 is negative 2. Substituting these values in the formula, D is equal to the square root of quantity 1 minus negative 2, quantity squared, plus the square of quantity negative 2 minus 4. Negative of negative 2 is positive 2. Adding 1 and 2, the sum is equal to positive 3. Square of 3 is 9. Negative 2 minus 4 is negative 6. Square of negative 6 is positive 36. Now adding 9 and 36, the sum is 45. Square root of 45 can be simplified as square root of 9 times 5 or simply 3 square root of 5. Hence, the distance from point R to point S is 3 square root of 5 units. Another example, draw a triangle with vertices R with coordinate negative 1, positive 4, E, 0, positive 1, and D, positive 2, positive 5, and show that it is isosceles. By definition, an isosceles triangle is a triangle that has two sides of equal lengths. So for this item, we need to show that the lengths of two sides of the triangle formed are equal. Thus, we need to solve the lengths of line segment RE, line segment ED, and line segment RD. To determine the length of side, we will use the distance formula. For segment RE, we will set the coordinates of point R as sub 1 and coordinates of point E as sub 2. 
substituting the values in the formula, segment RE has a length of square root of 10. Segment ED, coordinates of point E, will be for sub 1, and point D will be for sub 2. Solving for the length of segment ED, it is equal to the square root of 20 or 2 square root of 5. Since the first two sides are not equal, we still need to solve for the third side. Solving the length of segment RD, we will set the coordinates of point R as sub 1 and the coordinates of point D as sub 2. Substituting the values in the formula, segment RD has a length of square root of 10. Since the length of segment RE is equal to the length of segment RD, therefore, triangle RED is an isosceles triangle. After we know how to find the distance between two points, we will now proceed on finding the distance between a point and a line. Here we need to use the formula D equals the absolute value of AX plus BY minus C all over the square root of quantity a squared plus b squared, where a is the numerical coefficient of x variable, b is the numerical coefficient of y variable, and c is the constant when the equation of a line is written in standard form or ax plus by equals c. Also, x and y are the coordinates of a point. As an example, Find the distance from the point negative 5, positive 4 to the line x minus 2y equals 7. When dealing with this example, we have to observe first if the equation of a line is written in standard form or ax plus by equals c. If not, we have to transform it first to this form. Now since the equation is in standard form, we will now get the corresponding values of a, b, and c. Here a is 1, that's the numerical coefficient of variable x. b is equal to negative 2, that is the numerical coefficient of variable y. And c is positive 7. For the coordinate of the point, x is negative 5 and y is 4. Substituting these values in the formula, it will be d equals the absolute value of 1 times negative 5 plus negative 2 times positive 4 minus 7 all over the square root of 1 squared plus the square of negative 2. Evaluating the rational term, it is equal to 20 over square root of 5. By rationalizing the denominator, this will be equal to 20 square root of 5 over 5 or 4 square root of 5. Hence, the point negative 5 positive 4 is 4 square root of 5 units away from the line x minus 2y equals 7. Now try this. Determine the distance from the point positive 1, negative 6 to the line given by 4x plus 3y plus 7 equals 0. Let me know your answers in the comment section. Moving to the third distance formula, this is used when determining distance between two parallel lines. Take note that the distance between two lines in the plane is the shortest distance of any two points on the lines. Moreover, the distance between intersecting lines is zero since the shortest distance is located at the point of intersection and that is zero. Meanwhile, for parallel lines, it is the perpendicular distance between a point on one line and the other line. Its formula is given by D equals the absolute difference of the constants C sub 1 and C sub 2 all over the square root of A squared plus B squared. This is used whenever the equations are written in standard form AX plus BY equals C. Similarly, when the linear equation is written in slope-intercept form, we will use the formula D equals the absolute difference of the y-intercepts all over the square root of m squared, the square of slope, plus 1. As an example, 
Find the distance between the lines 4x minus y equals 1 and 4x minus y equals negative 3. Observe that the two linear equations are written in standard form. Thus, we will use the first formula. Here, a is equal to 4, b is negative 1, c sub 1 is positive 1, and c sub 2 is negative 3. Equation now is d equals the absolute difference of 1 and negative 3. 1 minus negative 3 is positive 4. Now for the denominator, the square of 4 is 16. The square of negative 1 is positive 1. Adding 16 and 1, the sum is 17. Equation now is d equals 4 over square root of 17. Rationalizing the denominator, Hence, the distance between the parallel lines is 4 square root of 17 over 17. For our last example, determine the distance between the lines y equals 5x minus 2 and y equals 5x plus 4. Now, since both equations are written in slope-intercept form, then we will use the second formula. Here, we set b sub 1 as the y-intercept of the first equation, thus it is equal to negative 2. For the y-intercept of the second equation, b sub 2 is equal to positive 4. For the slope, m is equal to 5. Remember that the slope of a line is the numerical coefficient of variable x in this form. Now, substituting these values in the formula, they will be equal to the absolute difference of negative 2 and positive 4. Negative 2 minus 4 is negative 6. Thus, its absolute value is positive 6. For the denominator, the square root of 5 squared plus 1, 5 squared is 25, plus 1 is 26. Thus, the denominator is square root of 26. Now, rationalizing this value, it is equal to 6 square root of 26 over 26. Simplifying 6 and 26, both are divisible by 2. Hence, the distance between the parallel lines is 3 square root of 26 over 13. Thank you for watching. God bless.